Hello, third grade. This is Mr. Peralta. So today we're going to actually use our the Tinkercad software to create our mini golf courses. So I want to show you how you can use some of the tools and then we'll love to see your mini golf courses. So let's get started. I remember that you're simply going to go to Tinkercad and in Tinkercad, if you remember from previous lesson, you should have a uh, an ID. Um, or a nickname that way you can log in and get started on your work all right so if you are on your uh, home screen um, remember that our big idea is our mini golf courses and so this is what engineering uh, takes place uh, there's something that is trending right now is the whole uh, thing about 3d printing so uh, software like this using 3D shapes and 3D models uh, gives us a perspective all the way around because we can actually flip the turn around see it all instead of just being a flat um, uh, you know two-dimensional uh, object so this is pretty neat so what I want you to do is I want you to think back at your plans think back at when you actually sketch out what your uh, mini golf course will look like. Now remember, a mini golf course doesn't have to be very complicated. It just needs to be, uh, have, it just needs to have a couple of obstacles and then of course your, uh, your hole. Now, remember you either made a, a straight uh, mini golf course, or maybe you made a letter upside down L or you made a U shape. Uh, so all of that, just remember how your project looks like. So I'm going to create a new design and then now under a new design I'm going to go ahead and title it up here just click up on the top and then you're going to put your name and then <clears throat> my mini golf okay so that's going to be your name and then my mini golf course all right, so we'll get started. Remember, just a couple of reminders. This is how you can move around your work plane. And I'm going to start off with a box. So you just simply click and you drag it. And I'm going to start right here. And then if this almost looks like your, uh, your grid, if you remember. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to stretch it out. Stretch it out all the way to that side. So if you can't see where you are. If you want to start off from a bird's eye view, and then I'm going to go all the way around, maybe right here, right at the edge. Right at the edge is where I want it. There. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you remember how thick your what was the length of your um, golf course that can definitely be, play a good part here all right so now I can see that it, you see how tall it is and I actually want it and remember this middle one is the one that helps me helps me to flatten it up where are you there you are so we're gonna flatten this up right there by one one percent or, or 1.00. Now, of course, this is my green, so I'm gonna change the color to green. Now, I like this, and my uh, golf course is gonna have this upside down L. So remember, you can copy it right here, copy, and then we can paste it. I'm gonna paste it over here, right here. Now, I am going to move this over about so. There we go. I begin, or I can go ahead and just put the ball. Now, this ball, I'm going to change it to a color white, and then I'm going to make it smaller. Here, you can just use different shapes. So, for example, I can use this one here, drop it there. I don't want it to be white. I want it to be, remember we have that theme of, uh, of uh, an adventure and a, and, a, and a wilderness. So maybe I can have it somewhere here. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's like a little heel. 
Now it's green on green, so of course not. I'm gonna change it to a brown. And then I'm going to flip it around, maybe like that. Maybe make it, yeah, that's good. Just right there, just a little, just a little, um, little obstacle. There we go. Right there. And if I like it, I can copy it and then paste it. And maybe I want another one right here. There you go. See, simple. Just like that. And then, of course, I'm going to put my where the hole is. I'm going to use this two, and this one I can make it maybe silver. Now, watch what happens, boys and girls. I'm going to flan it up. There it is, something like that. Bring it a little bit right there. There it is. And then I actually want it. Oops, go back. Make sure that you select what you want to move first. And I actually want it. And I actually want it over here. Like that. All right, so I can continue being creative. I mean, I can add other things. I can add, you know, another obstacle maybe here. But again, you don't want to have too many obstacles because then, uh, you know, the game, the, 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 the whole course is not going to be as fun as you would imagine. But something like this is fine. Here we go. So now I know if it hits, it goes. And then, you know, hopefully they can make it right there. Oh, this one went up. I went and actually I wanted it to go down this way. Just like that. And you know what? What this could be, this could actually be like a, like a little tree. It actually turn out to be like a little tree in the forest. You well, know, you have to kind of play with this a little bit. But there you go. Same looks like a little tree, maybe a different green. You can make it a different green. Maybe it's there you go. That's a better green. So there you go. This is just an idea of what you can make your golf course. And then don't forget to add your name right here. I'm going to put um, the, the, we can put your name and then, so don't forget to add your name. You simply click on the text and then you can name it so this is forest green and forest uh, bend or something like that now of course i don't want it that big so this is the name of my of my obstacle course forest bend with that little brown. Let's see where it goes. There we go. If you wanted to stand it up, you can definitely do that. Oh, not this way. I want to stand it up. There you go. And then, of course, it's going to hide. And so I'm going to lift it up. Perfect. And there we go. Just something simple. Just you have your green, you have your obstacle, your the ball for your sphere and then your name and then i think i like the name flag like that and that's it you're finished so this is what i would like for you guys to work on again don't get frustrated this is just very easy and simple very um a, a, a small structure uh, of your mini golf course if you have the time please you can go all out but for now, just simply put the green, put the ball, put a couple of obstacles, and that's it. 
Oh, enjoy. Have some fun with this. And I can't wait to see you uh, soon, soon, soon. But in the meantime, this is the best way that we can communicate for now. Till next time. Bye-bye.